Welcome to Faith and Wellness. And together we continue learning about Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph, most chaste. Saint Joseph, the protector of the Holy Family, protect our families, our children. As you protect the Jesus, protect my family. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and share about Saint Joseph. We need we need more people to love and ask Saint Joseph for his help. This is what some saintly followers of Saint Joseph quoted. Right now we have followers in YouTube and all the social media. Well, Saint Joseph had his saintly followers. And this is what they said. St. Joseph, St. Lee followers quote, quoted the following. Knowing by experience St. Joseph's astonishing influence with God, I would wish to persuade everyone to honor him with particular devotion. I have always seen those who honor him in a special manner make progress in virtue. For this heavenly protector favors in a striking manner the spiritual advancement of souls who commend themselves to him. This is what St. Teresa of Avila said. How great his, St. Joseph's, union with God, how sublime his gift of prayer, how wonderful the direction of the Holy Spirit. And this is what Blessed William Joseph Chaminade said. He, St. Joseph, is head of the Holy Family, father of the Trinity on earth, which resembles so closely the Holy Trinity on high. And this is what St. Peter Julian Imar said. All Christians belong to St. Joseph because Jesus and Mary belong to him. St. Leonard of Port Morris said that we see the beginning of the New Testament as at the beginning of the old. There is a married couple, but whereas Adam and Eve were the source of evil which was unleashed on the world, Joseph and Mary, the summit from which holiness spreads all over the earth. The Savior began the work of salvation by his by this original and holy union. And I must tell you, I do not know who said this wonderful quote, but this quote has a lot, a lot of sense and a lot of wisdom. That's why I included this one. He God saw to it. That Joseph be born of the royal family. He wanted him to be noble, even with earthly nobility. The blood of David, of Solomon, and of all the kings of Judah flows in his vein. Saint Peter Julian Imar said that Jesus and Mary not only bent their wills to Joseph's, for he was head of the holy family but they lovingly surrender their hearts to him as well. St. Peter Julian Imar said that. How I love to call St. Joseph, the patriarch of Christians, and God, and not God, because God is God, and of God's elect. He was God's elect. How could we not give him his venerable title, he above all, who plays such a large part in the mysteries of our spiritual regeneration. This is what Blessed William Joseph Chaminade said. How hard he, St. Joseph, must have prayed to come to know an ever-increasing love toward his immaculate wife. Blessed Gabriel Allegra said that. Joseph loved Jesus as a father loves his son and showed his love by giving him the best he had. This is what St. Jose Maria Escriva said. The position of St. Joseph as husband and foster father 
gives witness to the dignity of the fatherhood. Venerable Joseph Mindsenti said that. Who can ever understand how great he, St. Joseph, had to be in this virtue of virginity who was destined by the Eternal Father to be the guardian or rather the companion of Mary's virginity? This quote, I do not know who said it, but it talks about the virtue of virginity, something that we need to cherish. And those of you who have children, if you have virgins in your house, you're blessed. And those virgins are super blessed because virginity is the most pure thing that you can have. That's why St. Joseph remained a virgin and Mama Mary became also was a virgin because even though they lived together, they never, never had any sexual relationships. So virginity, it's a beautiful gift to keep for the special person in marriage. I did. I was a virgin. And I hope I only have one daughter that she continues to be a virgin and that she gives the gift to her husband in marriage. Well, now let's continue. He, St. Joseph, protects those who revere him and accompanies them on their journey through his life, just as he protected and accompanied Jesus when he was growing up. This is what St. Jose Maria Escriba said. He, St. Joseph, won for himself the title of the just man and thus serves as a living model of the Christian justice which should reign in social life. This is what Pope Pius XI said. What prudence was required to educate a God become a child who will to obey him, St. Joseph, for so many years, for 30 years. Blessed William Joseph Chamonix said that. So perfectly was he, St. Joseph, dead to the world and to the flesh that he desired nothing but the things of heaven. This is what St. Bridget of Sweden said. If you want to know St. Joseph's obedience, Look at how he rose at night at the angel's voice and giving no care to hunger, hardships, or cold, went to Egypt where he led a hard life until the next command of God. This is what St. Joseph Sebastian Puskar said. The church admires the simplicity and the depths of his St. Joseph faith. This is what St. John Paul II said. This flower of Israel, St. Joseph, had the faith of Abraham, the piety of David, his ancestor, the wisdom of the prophets, a patience more heroic than that of Job and Tobias, and a seal greater than, it, than that of Elijah for the glory of God. This is what Blessed Gabriel Allegra said. Truly, I doubt not that the angels, wandering and adoring, came thronging in countless multitudes, so that poor worship to a workshop to admire the humility of him who guarded that dear and divine child and labor at his carpenter's trade to support the son and the mother who were committed to his care. This is what St. Francis de Sales said. At the workbench where he, St. Joseph, applied his trade, 
Together with Jesus, Joseph brought human work closer to the mystery of the redemption. This is what St. John Paul II said. It was necessary that the divine providence should commit her, Mama Mary, to the charge and guardianship of a man absolutely pure. St. Francis de Sales said that. And remember that nothing impure can enter the kingdom of God. That's why purity is so essential in order to become a true saint. I pray to St. Joseph to watch over me. From my childhood, my devotion to him was mingled with my love for the Blessed Virgin. Each day recited the prayer, O St. Joseph, Father and Protector of Virgins. It seemed to me that I was well protected and completely sheltered from every danger. This is what St. Therese of Lisieux said. Those who are devoted to prayer should in a special manner cherish devotion to St. Joseph. I know not how anyone can ponder on the sufferings, trials, and tribulations the Queen of Angels endure while caring for Jesus in his childhood without at the same time taking, thanking, not taking, thanking St. Joseph for the services he rendered the divine child and his blessed mother. This is what St. Teresa of Avila said. St. Teresa, as you, most of you know, she is a doctor. She was the first female doctor of the church. Nothing will be refused him, St. Joseph, neither by Our Lady nor by his glorious son. Who is his glorious son? Jesus, because he was the, the earthly father of Jesus, the stepfather, right? So those of you that have stepkids in your home, take good care of them because if you have a stepkids, God entrusted those kids to you. Do what St. Joseph did, take care of them. St. Francis de Sales said, As the church's liturgy teaches, he, St. Joseph, cooperated in the fullness of time in the great mystery of salvation, and it is truly a minister of salvation. St. John Paul II said that. The name of St. Joseph, the name Joseph will be our protection during all the days of our life, but above all, at the moment of death. Blessed William Shemonite said that. And if you have a family member that is at that stage of life, because the truth to the matter is that we're all going to die one day, always call upon St. Joseph and pray to St. Joseph, the memory to St. Joseph every single day. And especially closer to death but the truth to the matter is that we don't know when we're gonna die Jesus Mary and Joseph pursued their way through many towns of Egypt driving out the demons not only from the idols but out of many bodies possessed by them curing many that were grievously and dangerously ill this is what venerable Mary of Agrida said the church invokes St. Joseph as her patron and protector through her unshakable trust that he to whom Christ will to confide the care and protection of his own frail human childhood will continue from heaven to perform his protective, protective task in order to guide and defend the mystical body of Christ himself, which is always weak, always under attack, always in a state of peril. This is what St. Paul, Paul VI said. These are just some quotes that some saints and blessed 
um, followers of St. Joseph have said, but there is more to St. Joseph and people need to know why we need to let the world know about St. Joseph because he took care of Jesus on earth and he can take good care of you as well. Well, thank you for listening and please share this video. Share this video because we want more souls to be protected to the care of St. Joseph.